Today I want to talk to you about doctrine. Now doctrine basically means teaching or instruction. And when we talk to people about the doctrine we believe in, we're telling them about the instruction that we've received from the Word of God. We're telling them about the truths and the facts that are in the Bible, particularly in the New Testament, when it talks about how man can be saved and stay saved. Now, as we know, it's only through the sacrifice of Jesus that we are saved. And this is the most important doctrine that we believe in, that Jesus died for our sins so that we could have the Comforter. And it's not through anything we did, but only through the grace of God that this happened. And I'm sure many of us have heard that man-made saying, once saved, always saved. However, this is false doctrine, as it's not said anywhere in the Bible. Jesus says that my sheep will hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I shall give them eternal life, and they shall not perish. But notice how he says, and they follow me. Right? Once we receive the Spirit, it's up to us to remain overcomers, to keep the faith, to remain holy. You know, just as it says in Peter, it says, Just as he who called you is holy, be ye holy in everything that you do. It's important that we live by sound doctrine. That means to abide by the word of God and not the word of man or false doctrine. He who is born of God has overcome this world. And that's us. You know, and it makes it very clear in Revelation where it says, if any man add or takes away from the word of God, God shall take his name out of the book of life. And not a position you want to be in. And we've been given this perfect book of life where God tells us to be fruitful and to be in the unity of the body of Christ. Just as Paul says in Ephesians, he talks about how the saints are equipped to, be, to build up the body of Christ. And it's important that we remain built up and we don't become as natural men is. You know, it talks about how natural man is tossed to and fro in the waves, you know, pu pulled around with every wind of doctrine. You know, we don't want to be those people who Jesus talks about where he says, they worship me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. You know, Jesus talks about how whosoever hears my word and does them, is like a house built upon the rock that puts us in a much better position than if we hear his word and we neglect it. If we neglect sound doctrine. It's like building our house on, on sand. You know, Paul encourages us to take hold of the trustworthy word that we've been taught so that we can go out and give instruction through sound doctrine. And we can rebuke anyone who contradicts it. You know, we need to be able to stand up for the Lord's doctrine, defend it, if people oppose it, and they will. You know, but to truly represent Christ in our testimony, we need to understand the sound doctrine that's been given to us. We need to pray for wisdom. We need to build ourselves up in the knowledge of God. And we can look back to the Old Testament and early in the beginning of Proverbs when King Solomon talks about how the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And the fool despises wisdom and instruction. And we read on to see that wisdom goes hand in hand with knowledge. We can have knowledge of the things of the Lord, but we have to have the Lord's wisdom in order to apply this knowledge correctly. And then we read about how the Lord has, you know, he lays out sound wisdom for the righteous. And that's us. All we have to do is inquire of the Lord. As it says in James, if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. For God giveth to any man freely. And along with the Lord's wisdom and his knowledge through the Holy Ghost, we have spiritual discernment. And this is a key factor in staying saved in the Lord. Right? All we read through the New Testament that we are not to be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind, so that we might be able to discern what is the will of God. And this is where the natural man falls. This is where the natural man is easily swayed and pulled to every false doctrine. It even says in the Word, it says, The natural man cannot receive the spiritual things of the Lord, nor can he know them, for they are spiritually discerned. They're not naturally discerned. We've been made into a new creation so that we can know these things. And as we look to the world around us, 
you know, a very confused world. We just praise and thank the Lord that we've been given sound doctrine to live by, that we've been given the good news and we can tell others of the good news, that Jesus did rise from the, rise from the grave and that he is coming back for us, for the overcomer, for the righteous. And we just praise and thank the Lord that we have the Holy Spirit as proof of this. Praise God.